drove in this morning. This is the first leg of my uh, archery bear hunt the tag I drew here in Arizona. So really excited. I've wanted this tag for quite a few years and this is the first year I've I've drawn it. So pretty pretty cool to actually be here, you know, and have the opportunity to poke around this country, which to me, um, this is a brand new area for me. I've never really bear hunted in here at all in this area. I've, this is the first time I've ever stepped in foot in here. I've bear hunted for like four days in the unit in general in the 10 years I've been bear hunting. But other than that, never hunted in here for bears. So this is gonna be really cool, like learning this country, kind of sussing out like, you know, the hidey holes that these bears have in this area. Um, and uh, ultimately what I'm trying to do is I've centrally located myself around like about four different water sources. So right now we're sitting in, in mid-May right now. And uh, basically from this point until the middle of July, it's just real hot and dry. So those bears are hitting water a lot, uh, sometimes multiple times a day. So that's kind of my strategy right now is I'm going to go kind of just satellite out from this truck camp that I have here and check all these water holes for bear sign and uh, hopefully I find some good sign if I don't there is a canyon uh, not too far from me that it looks like I can kind of glass down into and that has some pools of water in it as well so whatever it is stoked to be here I got five days on on this leg right here um, and I don't know where they're gonna be. I know I'm gonna find some bears, you know, but it's just gonna be a learning experience, which is always fun. So, um, if we don't find anything this trip, I'll be back out in another week or so, but let's take it a step by step, you know? This is the first uh, first go at this hunt, and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna get, get something to eat and start get hiking down the trail and start checking out these areas. scouting is is my onyx my onyx i went through and you know picked out a bunch of water sources that looked awesome to me and the right topography and elevation and that's that and that's kind of what i'm going off of here so i should get there it's not too far of a hike i think it's about only about a mile and a half or so so not too bad so hopefully we find some sign. Fingers crossed. There's a bear track right there. Not big, but it's a bear. About uh, halfway-ish to first water source. So that's awesome. I already picked up a track. Very cool. They're walking around. That's exciting. The anticipation I had for this hunt was through the roof not just because I'm an avid bear hunter, but because this is where it all started for me. Until 2017 when I drew my first archery tag, spring bear hunting wasn't even on my radar. Fall is where I had always put my focus with bears here in Arizona. I didn't know anything back then about the spring, just that I wanted to learn. That first hunt sparked a flame that refused to burn out. It just got brighter with each passing season. And with a success rate of 1%, if a bear is even killed, the lessons were always many. As an eager student, I embraced all of them. Alright guys, we are officially sitting right now. Um, I ran into my buddy Dylan, and he just, just kind of looked out, you know, he had his side-by-side -side with him, and he 
took me all over the place in this area checking out all these different water sources. Uh, basically all of the water that we hit had back tracks on it. Um, so throw a dart at the map on one of these water sources and I feel like I got a good a good shot at getting an opportunity. <laughs> so it's a good sign. Yeah, good bear tracks too. The bear tracks in front of me right now are pretty fresh. It looks like a good sized bear. It's about a quarter after two right now. Um, so we built we built me a, a new brush blind right here. I'll show you. coming in over on that side. So, fingers crossed, man. Excited to be sitting here. Got a good wind. Um, and got shade. You know, it's, it's hot today. So, I think chances are pretty good of a bear coming to water. tonight but saw quite a bit of tracks today so had a good day learned a lot um, nice peaceful evening by the water uh, had a cow elk come in to like 15 yards that was pretty cool so yeah I think I'm I mean, I'm definitely in the right area just gonna keep bouncing around water source to water source and hopefully our schedules line up eventually <laughs> <laughs> Start to get back to camp though. from him. times on this water so good to know um, pretty exciting to see this stuff <laughs> hopefully our paths cross about three. 
finally back to camp. Super hungry. <laughs> Dehydrated, I feel like. Um, no bears tonight, but that's okay. Uh, I know they're around. I'm in a good spot. I'm just, the, the amount of tracks I'm seeing, um, it's just, it, it's literally the most bear tracks I've ever seen on any hunt I've been on. So at this point, I feel like it's just a matter of time, like I was saying before, you know, we cross paths, me and, me and these bears. So I'm um, just gonna keep, keep hitting the, these water sources and spend my time on them and play the waiting game. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it, 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 we're gonna find them. It, it'll happen. It's, it's just the schedules just need to line up, you know. <laughs> that's, that's that's what it is. But getting some dinner happening here. Beef stroganoff. Stoked on that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get something really cold to drink. It's gonna be awesome. In the coming days, I do a whole lot of sitting looking at tracks and not looking at bears. Maybe it was the fact that the temperatures were cooler than normal, giving the bears the ability to not have to hit water so often. Or maybe it was the wind on my setups. A bear's nose is uncanny and something that will never be fooled. Whatever it was, it wasn't favoring me loosing an arrow and sooner than later I'd have to head home. It'd be a week before I could get back out there and continue my hunt. Just rolled into camp this morning. I got uh, a couple days to bear hunt, all today, all tomorrow, all the next day. So it's gonna be warmer on this trip, so looking forward to that. Not for me, but for the bear hunting. Should be better, they should be hitting water more, but I'm gonna go check out this canyon bottom over here. Found some water from satellite imagery in the, resting in the bottom, and it's kind of in the same zone that I was hunting last, last week, so wondering if I find any fresh sign in there. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna push up into the country I was in uh, the last time I was here because there was, they were definitely up in there. So let's do it. All right, made it down in here. I found a couple cool pools of water. I haven't seen any bear sign, but it doesn't mean they're not around. This is, I would, like if we could run trail cameras, I would put a camera on this in a heartbeat and I'd be pretty confident I'd get bear pictures on it, but check it out. That. Looks like it's like 10 feet deep or something. So, pretty substantial water source. There's another one down the way here. I'm thinking the best way to set up on this though, this is all cliffed out in here. I'm surrounded by cliffs. It's actually just come in from the top and just walk this because there's a good amount of water like throughout this bottom. Just stay on the top and kind of meander along this edge here and look down. Because I don't know exactly what water source they're hitting and I kind of got to the point where I can't go any further in this bottom because I'm just cliffed out. So um, I am gonna head back out up into the country I was hunting last time. And you just kind of play it by ear, see what happens. But I'm glad I came down here, to, so now I know this is here. There's a bear track right there. There's more going down this this two track here. I'd say that's uh, within the last few days, because today's Tuesday. There's tire tracks on this on this two track. I'm assuming that's from the weekend. These tracks are going over those tire tracks. So, still roaming around, man. We just gotta, our schedule's just gotta line up, you know? Bear track there. Going all down this. Right there. There. up in here checked out the water tank that had the big boar track on it last time um, I 
stomp that out so no one would see it. <laughs> um, but I don't see any more new bear tracks on this water source, so I'm just getting a bite to eat, taking a break in the shade, and then I'm gonna hike up into uh, where that spring was. It just seems like the most ideal setup for right now. It's nice and shaded, it's secluded. So that's the plan. I'm excited to be here. Bear hunting can go from 0 to 60 in a hurry. One moment, you're questioning your sanity. The next, the ghost you've been searching for just appears out of nowhere. Because of that, along with being solo, unfortunately what happened right before dark was not captured on film. I apologize for that, but I'm a hunter first and a cameraman second. You'll have to use your imagination on this one. There he is. Man. He didn't go 20 yards. Hard to see in the dark, you know, but like, I can see where I shot him from here and where he's landing. He's literally laying 20 yards from where I shot him. So pop in.
spring there. Archery. Dunzo. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Looks like there's bare beds right here. Right in there. Neat. All good things eventually come to an end. I looked forward to this hunt for so long, did so much preparation, so much daydreaming, and was lucky enough to cap it off with a great bear. It was a hunt that brought me back to my spring bear roots, where I recounted memory after memory of a younger self trying to figure this all out. And I don't think I'll ever have it all figured out. That's one of the beauties about bow hunting. It's a constant evolution. Everything has an origin though. And as far as spring bear hunting goes, this is mine. Thank you.